Hi YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll go over the income statement, one of the most three important uh, financial statements if you're interested in investing. So stay tuned. Alrighty, welcome back. So as I promised, I'm recording another video which will explain you how to read the income statement. The last time we did a balance sheet example when we where we covered the Apple. Right now in this income statement, I want to go over Microsoft. Microsoft, and um, basically that's it. Income statement is one is part of three financial statements that are very important for everybody that are looking to be the investor or you just want to be in the finance and you want to read. You want to understand how to read the company and what's going on with the company. Uh, balance sheet is actually the sheet that tells you how much you're worth. And the income statement is the financial statement that tells you how much money did that company actually make. So let's dig into the Microsoft and let's see how much how rich they are. OK, so here what you can see is let me scroll down a little bit. A total revenue we will focus only on 2018. So the total revenue for the Microsoft in uh, for the Microsoft in 2018 was 110 billion dollars, 360 million dollars. This looks like it's a million, but all of these numbers are are actually in thousands, as you can see here. So all of the numbers are in thousands. So the Microsoft made a ton of money, had a big revenue in 2018. And the cost of that revenue, so the, how much they needed to spend to create that revenue is the second part here. That's the what this is. Cost of revenue is they spend almost $40 billion to make $110 billion. So they have a gross profit of $72 billion. And now this is a gross profit. Now we need to dig into and see how much expenses did we have within this profit to to get us a net profit at the end of the actual year and this is you can uh i'm using the yahoo finance just a little discussion and uh, and i'm checking out the annual information you can also see the quarter uh quarterly information but we will focus on annual information right there so operating expenses is uh this so we have a research development so that that means that uh, Microsoft actually spent around four, 15 billion dollars, actually 14 billion and uh, what is it, 726 million dollars uh, to be innovative, to you know to create a new product, Microsoft Surface 2 or 3, whatever it is, uh, and all of that cool stuff that Microsoft is actually doing right now and they're growing as a company. Uh, they spent 15, almost 15 billion dollars to keep up the pace. OK, so they also spent around twenty two point two billion dollars on uh, administrative stuff. OK, so they have a lot of stores. They have a lot of um, office spaces. They have a lot of salespeople, a lot of bunch of stuff, a lot of uh, on a company as big as Microsoft is. There is a lot of administrative stuff. So they spend almost twenty two, twenty three billion dollars, actually twenty two point two billion dollars on on salaries and a bunch of the stuff that goes into administrative stuff. And then we have non recurring, which is something that um, would be an expense that is not happening like each and every year that happens once in a while. And obviously Microsoft Microsoft didn't have any of those in 2018. And for the past actually four years, Microsoft had none. And then there are others which Microsoft also had none. Others would be anything that is not that's not that doesn't fit in any of the above categories. OK, so that brings us to the total of operating expenses to seventy five billion dollars. Now, what does this number means and how did we added these two numbers and added and ended up having seventy five billion dollars, which basically is almost got me a little bit. You know, I was oh wow, this is wrong, but it's actually not. Total operating expenses means that cost of revenue is also included in that number, research and development and selling general and admin administrative stuff. So when you add all these three numbers up, you will get seventy five billion dollars, which brings us to operating income to at thirty five billion dollars. OK, and then we have some kind of an income from continu continuing operation in Microsoft. 
that uh, means the total other income and expenses are like something one it's it's not negative so it's actually an income it's not the expense so we have a uh, 1.5 billion dollars here and then we have earnings before interest and taxes this is how much microsoft actually made before interest and taxes okay that's the number which, which is basically this number right there and then uh we have interest and expense how much did microsoft pa pay in interest for loans for credit whatever it is that's how much microsoft has paid the last year 2018 for the interest and expenses and then we have income before tax which is actually added these two numbers up total other income and earnings before interest and taxes so if this was the expense actually we would uh exclude you know we would uh from this number 35 billion we would uh extract 1.4 billion and uh get an get this number but as this is a positive they had they had some kind of other income uh besides everything that they're already selling you know microsoft office microsoft uh, windows servers and all that stuff they had some kind of a other type of income in 2018 and so the total income before tax is 36.5 almost 5 billion dollars a lot of money there a lot of money there and then we have an expense that microsoft had to pay on the tax to you know uh good old tax <laughs> and that, that that is huge number 20 billion dollars in tax just sad to see this but that's something that everybody each and every company especially big companies has have to do although a lot of companies are uh, somehow somehow uh, avoiding avoiding that route and finding legal ways of not paying tax which is absolutely fine which brings us to the net income from operations to 16 16.571 billion dollars and then as here are non-recurring events which would be something that i don't know microsoft had no uh non uh, non-recurring events in the past four years but that would be something if you if they decide not to uh i don't know manufacture windows microsoft windows or office so they would need to uh shut down the research and development uh you know fire a lot of people and all of that stuff and then that this this would be shown here then we have extraordinary items for example if some kind of a natural catastrophic event would hit microsoft offices that that would obviously be a big charge and that would be uh, shown here uh and then we have effects of accounting changes so if microsoft is changing accounting which is obviously not that would be shown here and then we would have other items if none of of none of the above would be fit then this would be shown here but obviously for the past four years microsoft had none of this so which brings us to the net income which is actual money that uh microsoft gets to keep is 16.5 billion dollars and if you add all of these guys up is actually i don't know 25 20 45 this is like 60 70 72 billion 73 billion dollars they made in the past four years a lot of money microsoft is very successful company uh good for them uh let them just keep doing what they're doing good for them though they're producing great software i like to use their, their their stuff as well and because i use that obviously for trading and for recording these cool videos i hope you like them so click that like button also make sure to click that subscribe button if you like the, these videos and smash that bell button uh, if you have any questions in uh, for any kind of any sort of the financial statement like the cash flow, uh, the income statement or the balance sheet, please post those comments below. I do read all of them and I answer all of them as soon as possible. And with that being said, go ahead, click, you know, Google something, Google something, go through the income statements from other big companies like Amazon, Apple or whatever and see for yourself. Get that skill of learning, get a skill of reading the income uh, statement and how you can uh then you can you know see what's the company how's company doing it, and is it good for the investing or not uh again thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon bye bye